in our math journal today. You're going to turn to the table of contents. You're going to write coordinate plane. If you want to put graphing in parentheses, that's what that is. A coordinate plane is what you graph on. Dot, 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 page 39 to 41. After you write that in your table of contents, you're going to turn to page 39, and you want to glue this page down on page 39. Make sure you write page 39 on this page wherever you keep up with your page, num page numbers. And make sure you write coordinate plane, coordinate plane at the top because it does not have a heading. Then you're going to glue this page onto page 40. Make sure you write page 40 wherever you're keeping up with the page numbers. You do not have to write um, coordinate plane on it because it does have a heading. And then finally on page 41, you're going to glue down this page. It already has the heading, but you do need to write page 41 wherever you're keeping up with the page numbers. Miss Bridges puts her page numbers at the bottom. You can put yours anywhere. All right, now we're going to turn back to page 39 and take some notes. So first, these are vocabulary words. So this first vocabulary word, the value for x and y, written as x comma y in parentheses, x is first, y is second, that is called an ordered pair. Ordered pair. A dot drawn on a grid, a dot like that, is called a point. The origin on the graph is zero, so where the zero is, the starting point, that is called the origin. Define the position of a point. So when you actually put numbers to an ordered pair, when you put three comma four, x is three, y is four, that is called coordinates. Coordinates. The line that goes left and right across the origin is the x-axis. And the line that goes up and down through the origin is the y-axis. And it is very important that you know x is left and right and y is up and down. Because when you're graphing points, you have to do the x-axis first before you do the y-axis. So if we were graphing 3, 4, we would go over 3, up 4. If we did it the other way, if we went over 4 and up 3, that's the wrong coordinates. So it's very important that you know you go left and right before you go up and down. Um, you can think of crawling on the floor before you stand up tall to walk. Or you can think of a plane taking off. A plane goes around down the runway before it takes off into the sky. So you have to do X and then take off into the sky. Alright, so we're going to apply some of those words to the next page in our notebook. Apply some of those terms. So we have patterns here with um, in tables with XY coordinates. So this pattern, I don't know if you can see it, this says add 3 and this one says add 6. So we're going to take the 0 and we're going to add 3. We're going to take the X coordinate and add 3. So 0 plus 3, 3. 1 plus 3, 4. 2 plus 3, 5. 3 plus 3, 6 and 4 plus 3, oops, <laughs> I wrote down 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. Alright, now we're going to take the x coordinate, but this time our pattern is add 6. So 0 plus 6, 6. 1 plus 6, 7. 2 plus 6, 8. 3 plus 6, 9. And 4 plus 6, 10. Now we're going to take this these x and y coordinates and we're going to write ordered pairs with them. So we're going to write x is 0, y is 3, so we're going to write 0, 3. It has a comma between them and it always goes in parentheses. This chart gives you the comma and the parentheses, but it won't always. So our next ordered pair is 1, 4. 
Our next one is two, five, three, six, and four, seven. Our second chart, our x is zero, our y is six, so zero, six, one, seven, two, eight, three, nine, and four, ten. Now we're going to take these x and y coordinates, these ordered pairs, and we're going to put them on the graph. So let's see if I can adjust a little bit. Our first one is 0, 3. So we're going to go to the right 0, that means not at all, and up 3. 1, 2, 3, and we're going to put a dot, which is called a point. Our next coordinate is 1, 4. So we're going to go right 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a point. Our next coordinate is 2, 5. Right 5, sorry, right 2, up 5. For 3, 6, we're going to go right 3, up 6. Our last one, we go right 4, up 7. You can connect the dots if you want to, but you don't have to. All right, our other pattern starts with 0, 6. So we start at 0, the origin. We don't go right at all, and we go up 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 7, we go right 1, up 7. 2, 8, we go right 2, up 8. 3, 9, we go right 3, up 9. And 4, 10, we go right 4, and up 10. So we can see that both of our patterns are increasing. They make a line that slants up. Remember, you have to do X before you do Y. All right, now we're going to look at a word problem on a graph. So it says, Mitchell is training to run a race. He is practicing by running laps around the track at his school. Each week, he is able to run one more lap. Use the chart to graph the number of laps Mitchell runs each week. So we're gonna use this chart we're going to make these our x's and these our y's and we're going to graph them. So week one, two laps, x, y, one, two. So we're going to go right one, up two. Week two, three laps, x, y, two, three. We're going to go right two, up three. Three, four, three weeks, four laps. We're going to go right three, up four. Week four, five laps. We're going to go right four, up five. And then lastly, we're going to go right five and up six. So we have a pattern very similar to our previous pattern. He Every time he goes another week, he increases laps. Now let's answer some questions on about this problem. If the pattern continues, how many laps will Mitchell be able to run after seven weeks? Well, right now he's at five weeks. This is five weeks. I want to go to seven weeks. So five, six, seven. So if the pattern continued, that's five, this would be six, and this right here would be seven. So how many laps would that be? Well, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight laps. All right. If the pattern continues, how if the pattern continues, how many weeks will it take for Mitchell to be able to run ten laps? So if we are looking for how long it will take him to run ten laps, this right here was eight laps. So eight, nine, ten. This here would be 10 laps, not this one messed up. So this here would be 10 laps. How long would it take him to run those 10 laps? This is seven weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks. So it would take him nine weeks to run 10 laps. You will be using this information to complete some graphing pages tomorrow.